Hello everyone! Uh, this here is a brilliant game played by the Danish Grandmaster Karsten Hoy, and uh, he's playing against a player who, well, who was much stronger than him. Uh, he's playing against uh, the Soviet American Grandmaster Boris Gulko, and uh, Gulko is actually the only player ever to win the Soviet Championship and uh, the United States Championship as well. And he also has a positive score against Garry Kasparov, uh, three wins, one loss, and four draws. Uh, he even defeated Garry Kasparov with the black pieces in a miniature of, I believe it's 24 moves. Uh, so that makes this game all the more deserving for the Danish Grandmaster. And uh, well, uh, the, the attacking brilliance of this game can rival that of Morphe's Opera game. So, so let's see this beauty. Uh, Karsten is white and Mr. Gulko is black. So we have d4, e6, knight to f3, c5, uh, e3, and knight to f6. Uh, so transposing into the Indian game, the Yusuf of Rubinstein system. Uh, bishop to d3, uh, we have b6, uh, castles, bishop to b7, uh, knight b to d2, c captures on d4, e captures on d4, and uh, bishop to e7. We have rook to e1, now black castles, c3. Uh, d6, uh, queen to e2, rook to e8, and now knight to f1, knight bd7, knight to g3, and bishop to f8, uh, with ideas of e5. So bishop to g5, uh, h6, uh, forcing white to show his intentions with the bishop, uh, bishop goes back to d2, and now queen to c7. And we have bishop to c2, uh, bishop to d5, uh, with ideas of, uh, well, Bishop to c4 maybe, uh, or if the rook moves, maybe even capturing on a2. Uh, but we have b3, not allowing, and uh, now we have queen to b7, uh, with ideas of capturing this knight on f3. Uh, we have knight to h4, avoiding this, and now b5. Uh, black doesn't want to allow white to go for c4. Uh, we have queen to d3, now threatening checkmate on h7 if this knight on f6 ever moves. Uh, g5, uh, forcing the knight back to f3, uh, so knight to f3, bishop captures on f3, g captures on f3, and now bishop to g7. And, uh, well, here white has a, white has several options. He can maybe play a4, uh, going for play on the queen side. He could decide, well, as he does have doubled pawns uh, here, uh, th these f pawns are doubled, he could go for f4, maybe to open up the king side, but he goes for a more direct approach. He plays h4. Uh, simply sacrificing a pawn uh, <clears throat> for opening the g-file. So we have g-captures on h4, and now knight knight to e4. And, uh, well, this is a pretty annoying knight here, and, uh, well, you do want to get rid of it. Uh, but white is attacking d6 here, and if you play something like knight captures on e4, you get rook captures on e4. And this comes with ideas of maybe rook to g4, uh, or if f5 is played even rook captures on h4. And this would, uh, well, this would improve white's, white's attack on the king's side. So after knight to e4, uh, attacking d6, queen to c6 is played. Now defending the, the pawn on d6. So king to h1. Uh, this king is uh, coming to h1, uh, and this is the diagonal the queen is actually uh, uh, controlling now. Uh, but this is much less important. The, the important thing is to, uh, to occupy this g file with the rook. So knight to h5, and here we have rook to g1. And here uh, Mr. Karsten Hoy uh, employs his brilliant attack. Uh, we have king to f8, uh, Gulko wants to get away from this pin, and uh, Mr. Hoy plays rook captures on g7, uh, not allowing the king any escape routes via king to e7 or king to d8. So what do you play here? Well, obviously you have to capture the rook, but uh, how do you capture the rook? If knight captures on g7, then bishop captures on h6, now pinning this knight. And, uh, well, what do you play here as black? If rook to e7, for example, then simply rook to g1, uh, pinning this knight, and, well, white is better here. So, after this rook captures on g7 idea, uh, Gulko played king captures on g7. And here, uh, well, another brilliant move, uh, bishop captures on h6, uh, forcing the king uh, to the h file. And you do have to capture the bishop. I mean, you you don't want to play king to g6 or h or h7. Uh, this would uh, line up the king uh, for the discovery from this knight, as the queen and bishop are ready for the attack. 
and uh, well if you play something like king to h8 you get knight captures on d6 and uh, this is forcing i mean this is, is uh, threatening checkmate on h7 also knight captures on f7 is threatened so after this bishop captures on h6 idea king captures on h6 is played and now the king is has been forced to the h file and rook to g1 uh, cutting off the king's approach uh, back into back where it's safe and uh, well Karsten had to see a lot of moves ahead for this uh, <clears throat> for this to be even able to be played uh, we have f5 here and uh, here again a very nice move queen to e3 kind of forcing white to push f4 so he does he plays f4 and here uh, white plays knight captures on d6 uh, kind of looks like he's sacrificing a queen, uh, but the queen cannot be captured if uh, queen if uh, this pawn captures the queen, then simply a knight to f7, and uh, this is checkmate, and uh, and a beautiful checkmate. The bishop on c2 is covering h7, if you can see. So uh, after this knight captures on d6 idea, you can't capture the queen. So uh, Boris Gulkov tried queen captures on d6, capturing this knight, and now uh, queen to d3. And uh, this comes with a threat of uh, queen to g7, uh, sorry, queen to g6 checkmate and also queen to h7 checkmate. And how do you stop this? Well, uh, you don't. Uh, the only move black has really is knight to g3 check. But uh, rook captures knight and, well, black is lost. But Boris Gulko tried one more move. He played uh, knight to f8. And uh, this seems like it's uh, protecting uh, g6 and h7, but it's really not. Here, uh, Karsten Hoy finishes this brilliancy with queen to h7 check, and uh, black king is without square. His only move is knight captures on h7. And here we have the final touch, rook to g6 checkmate. And, uh, I mean, look at this beautiful formation. The knights are so close to the king, but uh, they are useless in defending him. So, yeah, def definitely a beautiful game. And, uh, well, a brilliancy by Karsten Hoy, definitely. Uh, but I will, uh, as I said, Boris Gulko was quite a player, and I will show a couple of Gulko games as well on my channel. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, you can check to all my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.